For the second day in a row, hundreds of thousands of Central Florida students will be logging on to learn from home. Day one of distance learning had some hiccups, but students and parents will have to get used to the format. As Mark Lehman reports, schools will stay closed longer than first thought. For day one of distance learning, school leaders say they anticipated there would be some problems with so many people trying to log on at the same time. District leaders all across Central Florida say they've been approaching this much like issues that come with the first day of school, and they're now asking for patience going forward. That this is a uh, new territory for us. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a road we're traveling where there really is no map. That road was definitely a bumpy one for students as they tried logging on for the first day of distance learning. We heard from parents like Mars Aponte in Orange County. It'll show like a bad gateway and I'll say time out on the, on the computer screen. And the issues were similar for many in Seminole County as they tried to access classwork from home Monday morning. I would ask that on behalf of the school board that you have patience as we work our way through this. School leaders from Brevard and Volusia counties also taking to social media, admitting there were glitches and asking for patience. By midday, most problems were worked through as kids got to work. It takes a lot of patience and time, but it will get done, you know. And that's what you have to have. And I'm kind of blessed that I'm able to stay home with them. And staying at home is something everyone will have time to get used to. After a call with the Department of Education on Monday, districts across Central Florida said they're not planning on schools to reopen until May 1st at the earliest. Now, when it comes to any future problems with distance learning, districts say teachers are available for questions and IT techs are working on any issues that pop up. We will be keeping an eye on how day two of distance learning works and we'll keep you updated with everything throughout the day. For now, reporting in Seminole County, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.